Well, tick-borne diseases are on the rise, and that is why the CDC is monitoring the tick population nationwide for the first time ever. Health officials say the number of diseases have doubled in recent years, and THV 11's Jordan Howington tells us why experts say it's important to keep ticks top of mind this summer. Gotcha. <laughs> Chastity Standridge and her two little girls we go hiking, spend most of their summer days outdoors. I uh, spray deep woods off on them. She keeps the danger of tick-borne illnesses on her mind for a good reason. I did have a friend whose um, parent had gotten Lyme disease. The Arkansas Department of Health says researchers conducted a study finding from 2004 to 2016 the number of tick-borne illnesses have doubled nationwide, including from tick-borne pathogens here in Arkansas. From that study, researchers introduced a new tick of concern. This one right here, the Asian longhorn tick. It's mostly a livestock pest, um, although there's always the potential based on the fact that we know that it transmits certain human pathogens in different parts of the world. Arkansas is one of only 11 states where the Asian longhorn tick has been found. ADH officials say animals in North Carolina have already been impacted by the tick. Some cattle that had been become anemic and died ultimately they think because of infestation. Though the Asian longhorn tick hasn't caused complications to humans here, health officials warn people like Chastity it's crucial to immediately check for ticks in all cracks and crevices of your body. Do you know how many times I've inspected and then forgotten behind the ear and then there's a tick and then a couple days later we haven't been outside and then I just freak out. The quicker you remove the tick, the less likely it will spread into the body. That can take, you know, 36 to 48 hours of that tick actually being attached to you and blood feeding to move from the tick's saliv salivary glands into the person. In Little Rock, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. The health department says this latest report shouldn't make you afraid of going outside because there are steps you can take to protect yourself from ticks, like wearing proper clothing, such as long sleeves and pants. And don't forget to spray yourself with DEET before heading outdoors.